I got a question for you. So last yeah. night, Robert's with us. You know, Robert's always got a different lens. R.O.? Yeah, R.O. So <laughs> the entire time, I'm like, why do they keep going to Tim Scott? And I kept turning around. I won't pump. I'm like, the guys, this guy... On 2.0, he speaks too slow. Like it's like he, we just noticed it upstairs. We're watching him on 2.0 on YouTube, yeah. and it's like as if he's Fall listening. Asleep. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. he's so the anti. Can you ben show Shapiro. up the CNN numbers? Can you show up the CNN numbers? Check this out. Who spoke the most and the least? Okay. Okay. The most last night Tim was Tim Scott. Scott, and then Haley, and then Vivek, and then DeSantis, and then Christie. Okay, mm. I understand Christie. Why the hell would Tim Scott speak the most? So then Rob says maybe because NBC is doing it intentionally to make the show be so boring that Americans don't watch it. I agree. Okay? Maybe it was an intentional way of getting people to say, I can't listen to this anymore. Move away. Do you think NBC is that dumb to realize that in a business of capitalism, if you're sponsors that are paying you millions of dollars don't get a lot of eyeballs are going to be okay with you giving it to the person like what what the audience wants to see a fight between Haley and Vivek put the top three the top three should have been who Haley DeSantis and Vivek no Tim doubt. Scott should be all the way at the bottom even below Christie I, for is sure. where he should have been I agree do you think there was any motives in them giving Tim Scott the most eyeballs I, absolutely because I don't think the producers and the political writers and the political commentators and Lester Holt himself I don't think they give a rip on this particular show what the corporate guys are, are looking at in terms of ad dollars they're going to promote it they're going to get the best viewership they can but if they I think if they detect momentum in that show, they will go away from the momentum. And I, I felt like, didn't it feel like that after seven minutes, they kind of pulled away from Vivek? And they, all, they also said, also, unlike other debates, if someone says your name or makes an accusation, you do not get an automatic 30 seconds. Right. Remember and that? They did say that they, at the beginning, yeah. They, they were saying that almost trying to kind of control the flow. And so I, I think they absolutely gamed it a little I, bit. I agree 100%. And like while Brandon was talking about polls, Pat, I don't listen to any any polls, the same polls that had Hillary at 99%. Pat, you're a Democrat. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> right now you're a registered Democrat, lifelong, Trump-hating. Pat, it's, it's going to be tough. Yeah, I know it's going to be hard. Okay. So, Pat, you saw this debate in that lens. As a Democrat, out of everybody here, who would you want if you had to pick? If you if you had to be like, all right, I'll deal with this. So you want a weak team to play in the Super Bowl? Well, that well, basically what I'm saying is, Pat, because they know like Biden, whatever. Chris Christie would be my number one. Yeah, Chris Christie would be one because he hates Trump. And I, if I'm a Democrat, I want to hear anybody mm -hmm. that's t trashing Trump the most. It's him. Mm -hmm. Then who I would probably want to hear is Haley because she's at least a woman. So, and her position on pro life, pro choice is the best one amongst everybody. Then I would probably listen to Tim Scott. Then I would probably listen to DeSantis, and Vivek would be the most annoying person <laughs> on that stage if I'm a Democrat. Yeah, 100%. And then yes look, or no? 1,000%. Yeah. 1,000%. I would fully agree with you. I would just swap Vivek and DeSantis. I don't think Democrats have any love for DeSantis. Well, you don't think so? Over I think that's the only six reason Vivek is at the top thing, is because— Six-week abortion. The, the only yeah. reason I put Vivek at the top is because Democrats can't stand— Capitalist, yeah. in the you know, made your own money, calling out bullshit, anti-establishment. DeSantis didn't even that day when we had him on the podcast. I said, look, you're like a hybrid. You could some people think you're establishment, you know, and and that's kind of where you are. He didn't really correct me, and even in my intro, he corrected me twice. So. That is the one area he didn't correct me about establishment. He just kind of let that one go. You were going to say something, Tom. Yeah, I think I think what the Democrats don't want, they do not want successful people of color. They want entitled people of color. Full stop. They don't want successful people of color. No, they don't want to go against Vivek. <sighs> Vivek becomes a symbol. No, sense not, Tom. No, yeah. Vivek becomes exactly what they don't want. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.